Hello people of YouTube and welcome back. So if you've clicked on this video you probably know what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be opening up a bundle of Mass System games I bought off eBay. Now I've not done a bundle buy for the longest time or at least if I have bought a bundle it's not been one that I've needed majority of the games if not all of the games I think I need all of them except maybe one and then there's going to be a few that I don't need because there's a, there's, a, there's a bloody double in the actual bundle itself so uh, yes I've got someone in mind for that as well already so anyway waffling already already just going off on a little tangent isn't it but yeah um, I've got this bundle mainly it's more of a nostalgia thing really um, I used to buy bundles all the time I mean probably a lot of us we all did the same back in the early days where it was just it was so much easier to buy a bundle of games just for one or two games and it was just to buy them games sometimes and then you just resell them or trade them on to other people yeah it was a it was a good time but like obviously what people know the values of the games now and they can get more for them singular or if you sell them as a bundle what i've noticed over the years that sometimes them bundle prices go more than if you was to buy them all singly or at least if you got them at a decent price singly anyway so yeah i'm quite pleased with this one so um, I think there's about 20 games um, and basically I think it, I worked out it's about for the games I actually want to actually keep for my collection it's working out to be about five quid a game. Now the listing had not much information on it so that's why I've kind of left it as an unboxing because I'm kind of a little bit intrigued to what it's like so uh, maybe I might make a funky name I might get the older uh, Rob or Sean to get a funky name for me so uh, if not if it's a shit name then it's probably because I've named it <laughs> the name of the video but anyway got me old lens out for the old video quality because we need to have the video quality up in 2021 right so anyway this is the bundle this is what's come through my door earlier on today so yeah um should we get it open um, I've not come prepared I've not got any scissors but I have got a blunt object so hopefully we can get into it so yeah really i'm really actually excited about this because it's the first kind of bundle that i've got for ages plus i'm pretty much going to be near enough doubling my mass system games all in one go it's nice and easy i mean they've used paper tape to do it so yeah it's not too bad but it could have it could have gone smoother if i was prepared right oh opened it up oh i can see some now right so there is definitely math system games in here. So, shall we do a little tootie? Do a little tootie, hand in the box. Let's see what we get out first. So, uh, we've got a shit one first. Now, the, the thing about the listing, there was nothing about it. So, I'm kind of intrigued how many of these have got manuals, if any of them at all, because, like I say, I got a lot of these games for, well, it pretty much worked out five or a game for the ones that I want to keep. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of not too sure that they're all going to be complete because some of them are actually pretty good. And there's about five games. God, I'm stalling, are There's about five games that I actually want to get, keep, that, that, that kind of like sold me on the bundle. I don't think this has got a manual. <laughs> and it is Ayrton Senna's, uh, what is it? Super Monaco GP2. So, yeah, no manual. Wham, wham, wham. But, yeah, this is probably not worth a fiver. So, it is what it is, but it's uh, probably a game I'm going to keep. So that is pretty cool. I'm uh, just double checking. Everything is real and it's not just a printed cover. So hand in the box. Let's look away. Oh, yes. This the, this is the only thing that they said on the listing. One of the boxes is damaged and I've got the damaged one. So it is chuck rock. So this one's knackered box. And yeah, no manual, but it's got the game inside. So uh, what I think I'm hoping I can do. Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ! So what this <laughs> what this actually is? It's not even just damaged. They've actually taped the the paper onto the box itself. There's no actually outer covering to hold it. So uh, what I might have to do is uh, iron this and then use one of the boxes for the doubles for this game. So uh, yeah. That's gonna be an interesting one. <laughs> but yeah, Chuck Rock, pretty cool game. I mean, this this is the Amiga for me. It's not a mass system game. So I'm not I'm not really in need of this game, but well, that's all right. 
I'm not 100% sure how much that one goes. Probably will be about a fiver. Probably less in that condition. I've looked at this one. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, I think I've got a feeling all of these have got no manuals. Uh, and we've got Line of Fire. So I'm not too sure what this one is. Um, this kind of looks like a shooter. And if it is, that is awesome. Because I didn't even know about this. It says shooting on the front. Um, I just can't. I always thought this was a light gun game for some reason. But looking at the, the images on the back, I don't know if you can see. Oh, if you can see. It looks like a shooter, like a helicopter shooter. So I would probably be giving that one a go sooner than later. But yeah, no, no manual. The car itself is. Oh, sorry, Tootie. So the car is in the right way. So that's the main thing. Don't worry, they are going to get better. Another, I think, loose game, <laughs> California games. So yes, no manual, no manual, womp, womp, womp. So I think what this is, this is probably from a collector who has just got a load of games and they've upgraded for whatever, however means they've done it and then they've sold it all off in a bundle like this. But yeah, California games, another Amiga game for me. Um, absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing for me, is, as long as the spines look okay, I'm not too fussed because none of these games so far are like, oh, I need to have them in my collection. But they're just nice to have. And for only five or a pop, ah, yeah, I think that's okay. So we have going to get, yep, <laughs> this is another loose, um, manual list one, I've got a feeling. Back to the Future 2. Now, I'm not too sure what this game is. Is this a unique game into the Back to the Future game? I only remember Back to the Future 3 as a game and then obviously the one on the Super Famicom. But yeah, I mean, they're not the best of condition. They're probably about, they're, they're kind of good quality, but they've got like dirt on them and stuff. But yeah, you can see that is like that. It's got one of them funky labels on as well. That doesn't, it looks like it's fake, but it's not. But yeah, let's get that the right way for 2T. Um, right, let's get these. I can see these, these are the doubles. <laughs> oh, I think this one's got, might have a manual. But yeah, this is super common game, super common. We've got Asterix. So this is the, my first double and oh, we've got a manual. So there is some with manuals in there. So that is good to see. Has the other one got a manual? No manual, womp, womp, womp. Never mind, never mind. Uh, so obviously this is a double. Um, and I say, I think I know somebody who might want it. Although I might contact him first because I might use that case for Chuck Rock. Chuck Rock. So next up, oh, this one feels promising as well. Tom and Jerry the movie. Um, yeah, this looks like quite a good platforming game. Um, I think it's like I, I did see someone that said that this is actually quite a good game. Um, I always remember again. I always remember playing it on the Amiga, but I don't think that is what this game is. So let's have a look. Moment of truth. Car is in the right way, and we've got a manual, so that is awesome. Like I say, the, the listing didn't say anything about manuals, so I thought I'd take a punt on it because they had a few um, games on there, um, but it wasn't like, it didn't look like a gamer. Like, he had more Star Wars toys than anything, so. Uh, next up, next up, this one feels a little bit light. The Lucky Dime Caper. Now, I can't remember if I played this or not as a kid, but I mean, a lot of these are really good. Yeah, no manual, no manual. But again, I'm not too fussed. But if anyone has any manuals for these, then that would be awesome. Now, this is one I did want to get. I'm trying to work out if it's got a manual or not. It does feel a little bit heavier, but not like massively. But yeah, Double Dragon. I can't believe I didn't have this. I was kind of umming and ahhing to, to, fi to figure out if it is one that I had in the set. Oh, it's one of them that's really tightly closed. Yeah, no manual. No manual, unfortunately. But, yeah, like I say, five quid for Double Dragon. I, I'm pretty certain that's like, that would be ten quid if I was to buy this. Um, even without a manual, I think. But yeah, I've heard this is actually really good. And probably one of the better ports, to be honest. Um, other than the NES one, but the NES one isn't... I wouldn't say it's true Double Dragon. So next up we have got, oh, this one feels a little bit heavier. And we've got Scrambled uh, scrambled Spirits. Now there's a little bit of a funny story about this as well. Because uh, 
obviously I would like to get all the shooters on the system. Um, I've not really looked into it, but I did see this one. Um, and, I, and I can remember doing a bit of research for it and everything like that. And I went to my car booty man and he had this and I took a picture of like uh, a whole stall and everything like that. <laughs> and uh, Retro Red Steve was like, oh yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that game. And I was like, oh, no, you, yeah, of course you can get it. That, this, that one that I gave Steve was in absolute mint condition as well. But, because uh, I thought I had it. I, I, I actually thought I had it, so I thought that was okay. Brought it home and I was like, oh no, Wounder, I've not got it. So yeah, I'm pleased to get this in because... I'm pretty certain he, he got that for 15 quid and, I, and I'm pretty certain this goes for like 20 odd quid. So that is really cool. I mean, moment of truth, because it would be nice to have this as a manual. We've got a manual, yes. A game that I actually would like a manual for. I mean, realistically, I'm not going to read the manuals, am I? But it's just nice to have them, isn't it? So yeah, Scrambled Spirits. Really pleased to get this into the collection. Oh, next one. And I think this one's got a bit of weight to it. Not really an expensive game, maybe four or five quid. So it kind of evens things out a little bit. We've got Trans. So yeah, it doesn't sell for very much, but looks like a really good game. Um, again, it's sort of an almost shooter style game. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Moment of truth. We've got a manual. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Really pleased to get that. Um, it's, it's sort of like it's a shooter that you transform into a ship to a robot. I don't think there's any reason to do it other than it's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, one that I'm really pleased to get in a, bu in a bundle because I didn't want to buy it because you see it all the time. Uh, so yeah, it's just nice having a bundle. And uh, oh, I think I've seen the next one and it's not a great one, but it's cool to have nonetheless. Um, Sega Master System Olympic Games. Well, it's not say this US Gold Olympic Games, and oh, we've not got a manual, but the cart is in the wrong way, so we'll sort that out. Um, yeah, not really too fussy. This is probably a two quid game. I actually did see this at a charity shop uh, near me not too long ago, and I left it behind because I wasn't really into getting some sports games, and it didn't have a manual. But in a bundle, yeah, I'll just keep it. Keep it until a better one comes along because, again, I'm not 100% fussed about it. Oh, you can see the next one. Um, I'm not 100% fussed about owning this one because I do have it on the Mega Drive. And it does, again, this one feels quite weighty. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, Forgotten Worlds. I mean, it will be interesting to see how this plays on the actual mass system. Um, what, a game that you kind of like shoot, change directions. You actually, instead of a ship, you're a person like a... On a, with a jetpack. Oh, I've, I've got a feeling this is. Oh yes. Do you know what the good, the ones that I actually want have manuals, which is crazy. Yes, they're not in the best condition, and yes, I know some people don't like the old pen marks, but do you know what? That's a little bit of history to me. So yeah, really. Oh, and do you know what this bundle has already paid for itself? I think already paid for itself. So buzzing with that. Bit of sip of coffee for the. The old bundle. I'm, I'm really pleased. Next up, we've got, um, yeah, one that I would like to get in a bundle. And, I've, and here it is. <laughs> Again, I don't think it's worth much more than a fiver. But yeah, G-Lock. So I don't know if this is anything to do with Afterburner at all. Like if it was a prequel or not. But I remember having this on the Masters, oh, on the Game Gear back in the day. And it was okay. <laughs> it just didn't have the old Afterburner experience. But the G-Lock has the like one of the coolest arcade machines ever made like is it that's the one that goes 360 into i think i don't know uh yes let's open it up let's open it up we've got a manual and it's in quite good condition uh we've got a little price sticker on the front there someone paid 27.99 for this it was reduced from 30 quid where is it from software plus I don't recognise that place. If anyone remembers Software Plus. Now, this is the one that I really wanted it for. So I'm really hoping this has a manual. I don't think it does. But I would like to be, yeah, proved wrong on that one. And yeah, this this definitely sold it for me. This is the one of the ones I really wanted. And it is Psycho Fox. Yes, I think this is like a 20 quid game without a manual. It's starting to uh, rise quite heavily. I've never played it. I've owned it in the past. Yeah, no manual, unfortunately. Ah, well, it is a shame, but it is what it is. So, this is a, well, people say it's a prequel to Decap Attack, which I can't really see. 
I really can't see it. I mean, obviously, I know Decap Attack was a uh, magical, magical hat flying adventure um, in Japan, and then they changed it for the Western audience. But even going from Psycho Fox to Magical Hat, or, or was there a Japanese version of this, and this is a reskin? Not 100%, yeah. People, let me know. Let's see if it's got the misprints on it. No, it's a Psycho Fox uh, normal, and it's in the right way. Yeah, because there's a there's a misprint. Was it um, Retro Red Steve who told us about the re um, misprint? That was pretty cool anyway. But anyway, nonetheless, it's Hero Collection, and this is one that I want to be playing. So, do I need a manual? And we've got one more. I'm sure there was another game in there that I wanted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. No, can't be. I must be wrong. Oh, we've got another dodgy cover. They didn't mention, they only said one was dodgy. Yeah, we've got flappage. We've got flappage on the go and it is air rescue. So uh, this looks like a bit of like a choplifter sort of style game. So really cool to get. It's complete as well. I don't know. I actually don't know the price of this game. So I don't know if I've got a good deal or not. But yeah, like I say, um, not, I mean, I didn't, I've, I've taken a few of these out. So what we got? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 boxed games. And we've got two loosey, loosey gooses here for 80 quid. 80 quid I paid for that. And we've got Asterix and the Secret Missions. Um, and we've got Sonic, good old Sonic the Hedgehog. Actually, I don't think I even own Sonic the Hedgehog. I think I own multiple Sonic 2s. So yeah, I might actually give that a bit of a blast later on but yeah that is the end that is the bottom of the box and fidget's gone there's a box going he, he's come up here just to come sit in it i think but yeah um i was going to say something about the collection i can't remember what it was but yeah a lot of these I've, I've i've oh yeah that was what it is yeah um it's a bit for, to me it's a little bit strange that i'm collecting mass system games again because i used to have quite a good collection before i used to have about 100 games of mass system box games um some a lot better a lot of them were a lot better than this and stuff like that but i i sold them on when i sold my collection last and i said to myself i'm not going to rebuy nes games yeah i'm here buying mass system games i don't get it i don't get it but i'm really enjoying the mass system recently and i don't know what it is i think what it is mainly is because i never grew up with the mass system i, I grew up with it around me like i was an nes kid and I used to love the NES, so the only times I had the mass system was when I went over to friend's house or the youth club used to have a mass system, we used to play a lot of uh, Sonic on that. Um, but yeah, I was an NES kid through and through pretty much. But I did eventually get a mass system, but I just didn't have a massive library of games for it. So for me, I think what it is, is I'm enjoying the games for the first time again. Whereas the NES, I've, I've had it as a kid. Um, and then I had it again uh, later on and I play I, I used to play the games so I've got no desire to play them again however the mass system games I'm yeah I'm really enjoying to play and that's what they are they're, they're, this is a, a player's collection but yeah which which of the ones so we've got let's have a little recap here we'll like a bit of a recap so the games I'm most proud to get and I think again paid for themselves really So, for 80 quid, I think even just them is worth it. And then I've got a few extras in with it. And do you know what? Who knows? This might be a little hidden gem that I didn't know I really wanted. But now I do. So, that's what's good about getting these bundles sometimes. You sometimes find these little hidden extras that you didn't realise before. But yeah, anyway, I'm just going on now, I? So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Have you had a good bundle buy recently? I don't know, but yeah, just opening up a bundle like this just feels so nostalgic for me, even though it was like 10 years ago. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.